Okay, that's a weird button to grab. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Well... The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Well... Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing, hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest, where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass, and awaiting its next hero. Wow. Oh, that's bright. Ah, uh, I can't see anything. That hero, wow. albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. She... Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. <laughs> 
She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Wow. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Okay. Anything down here? Probably not. Come on. Nothing, I guess. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Huh. Okie dokie. Whoops. A map. Sweet. One second. What is that noise? Oh boy. Where is she? Oh. That's a tiny little sword, though. <laughs> I wonder what those things are for. Some kind of dust. Well, open sesame, open sesame, hold on, I gotta go get whatever that is up there. <laughs> Another one. Bell tower, huh? Huh, I guess there's nothing.
Chinatown that's got a lot of cool stuff. Hmm. Nothing I see. Let's see another one. Aha. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, I have to hold that. Ah, there we go. Wait for it. Okay. Gotcha. Another map? Up you go. Yep, I see it now. Whoops. Tiptoe. Ah! Sorry, Moss. Quill. No! I forgot about that. Okay, let's try this again. Dang it. This time I will get it right. Okay. Whoa! Dang it. I messed that up. Okay, I get it. Gotta just go straight. Wow, clearly I, I did not see that that could happen. Okay. Whoops. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Pull the lever. Lever. Huh? Ta-da! Thanks to her new friend. Bill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. I'm guessing that means time, yeah. It's a squirrel! She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Ooh. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing? She explained. 
And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. He said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. <coughs> I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. So was a squirrel mount. Awesome. <clears throat> and now it sounds like it's night time. So I can't see anything. Whoa. So cool. Dang it. Oh. What is that thing? Hey, kid! Kid! Wake up! <laughs> hey, kid, over here! I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need Sidekick! Him. Wow, okay. I got. Awesome. Wait. It's just the out. same sort. Hey, Star thing, wait! I wonder, is there anything else up here? Probably not. Oh, wow, you sneaky little thing. Trying to hide from me? I guess there is stuff. Should always be looking. never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Mischief, eh? I guess that's the purpose of it. You Passage see it. through the eastern it's... gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, she knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Ah. Another one, eh? demanded answers. Starthing, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? And it's a gun. The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. You call me giant? Okay. I guess that would make sense. Huh? Mushrooms. Not good. 
don't want to fall down there. Ah, oh, I just realized I should have kept that out. Well, put that out now. That is not normal. What is that thing? This way, kid. Some kind of portal. Starting. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Well, that can't be good. The adventure begins. Wouldn't want to leave the portal open now, would we? That's a giant axe. Come on up. Just a deer. Trying to hide from me. Cutting that grass down. Hello, Mr. Deer. Wow, that looks so real. Is there anything else? I guess not. Doesn't look like it. Is that a helmet? I do not know. There's some... Another... Map? Piece? Hmm... How do I get up there? Let's see... Okay, one second... <sighs> There, now I have a little more space. And I am so all... How do I get... Okay. Up here. <laughs> there might be something up here. Nope. Ta-da! Don't want to run all the way back up here. Ugh, one second. Uh, itch. Okay. That's better. I don't think there's only one map in every area. Well, not every area. Probably just some... side is the Meyer. The starting shelter. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. If that's his squirrel, then probably... Whoa! Easy, Quill. Off we go. That's a graveyard. Well, that took all night, but hey, we're here! Did you hear that? The starling seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just 
Don't go and die on me. Well, thanks for the encouraging words. That doesn't sound too good either. Rusted metal. Oh! Awesome sauce. So if she gets hurt, I can heal her. I guess that's what the crystal's for, huh? The glass. Huh. I guess there's nothing there. Nothing? Okay, looks like it's time to... Oh, wait. Whoa, that's messing with my head. <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> Any scrolls? Well, there might be one. Mouse Knight. I think it's a mouse. Wait, I was just... Wait, no I wasn't. I was down there. Uh, can't do that. Oh, sorry. Huh. Great. Is there just nothing over here? Wow. I guess I should have seen that, huh? There you go. I guess there isn't anything, huh? More thorns. Oh, this looks like... But, sorry! I guess I should have checked first. One second. Sorry. I want to know what's up with all these whoa vines. That's fire. And some kind of bug. Okay, I gotta watch that. Ha! Sucker! That's what you get when you mess with us! Come a little closer. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I gotta watch that. Oh, uh, you just fell to pieces. Here comes another one. Joy. Dance, buggy boy. I forgot the evade button. Don't like the look of that fire. Let's. Good job. Now let's go. Anything in here? Nope. Nothing. Let us continue. A whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. 
Great, more white. I cannot see a thing. More pages too. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. Is that a toad? I'm Vader, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. Okay, that's not looking good. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. I don't think so. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. A lot of big creatures. Your once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through what this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you... Find them first. Wow. I don't think it was there was Take theirs. These. Weapons made for Maybe. a mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Sweet. Find your uncle twofold. Oh. The serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Rootseer. She's minuscule. Wow. No, the reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. Ah, uh, more white. I can't see a thing. Oh. Okay. Pause equipment. Equipment allows you to swap between your acquired armor and weapons. Huh. Clearly I don't have any. Sit in neutral position and face forward. I think I I'm good. Whoops, no. Okay, I guess it already saved. Okay, I don't know what that stuff is. <laughs>